Three candidates sought nomination in Cat Island yesterday, among them the country's deputy prime minister. As Carla Palmer reports, no stone was left unturned as supporters came out in full force. This nomination day here on Cat Island has lived up to its billing as a grand celebration. Scores of supporters have turned out for incumbent Progressive Liberal Party candidate, Deputy Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Brave Davis, to have him not only returned as their Member of Parliament, but for Rumkey and San Salvador. <laughs> Davis was escorted by PLP supporters in a motorcade, beginning from Knowles's in the north and seven miles in between, heading south towards the administrator's complex in the settlement of New Bite. A seasoned politician, Davis is running for his third consecutive term in office on the PLP's ticket since first offering himself in 1992. Flanked by supporters, he fulfilled his nomination obligation. Mr. Davis exited the administrator's office to the pulsating sound of Junkanoo, appearing ever more confident. Related, happy, excited over the outcome of this the general elections and what was what's going to happen here in Rumpke, San Salvador and Cat Island. As you can see, the... What do you think about the support? Oh, it's overwhelming and I'm humbled by it. What could these residents expect? Should they vote for you? Well, and they, could continue to, to, they could expect the continued representation that they've had over the last uh, 20 plus years. They, could, they, could, they are sure that I will, not, I will not let them down, I will not embarrass them, and I will continue to uplift them in, my endeavor, in all of my endeavors. And uh, if they didn't want me, they'll have been telling me that. And I think I have earned their respect. I still think I have a lot to offer, and I've been offering the best that I can to not just the people in Cat Island and Rumkins and Saldo in particular, but to the, con at the country as a whole. How optimistic are you? About? About <laughs> Well, uh, right. you can see. Well, I could ask you come and see. Uh, the outpouring here this morning, and these people didn't have to come, but they all decided today's nomination day, they want to show the support. And, it's, and to show that it's not too late to join the brave wave. Veteran Davis is going up against two newcomers, Mr. Samuel Strawn, who's representing the Democratic National Alliance, and Mr. Garvel McDonald, carrying the banner for the free national movement. With 1,600 registered voters between the three islands, PLP supporters say they are waiting to make their vote count on election day. Reporting from Newby, Cat Island, I'm Carla Palmer, ZNS Network News.